Well, I think this is a very good year to examine the relevance of gold because this is the 40th anniversary of the end of the Bretton Woods system and the gold standard. And today, I think uh, gold is highly relevant, uh, more relevant than it's ever been since the end of the gold standard. You're seeing gold rediscovered as a monetary asset, uh, being purchased by central banks all over the world. And you're seeing gold rediscovered as an investment asset by both professional investors and private wealth investors. Um, and you're seeing gold rediscovered also as a core part of the world's financial and monetary system. For example, gold is being used as collateral in financial transactions in ways it wasn't used before. So overall, you're seeing a, a new relevance for gold, both from an investment point of view and from a financial and monetary system point of view. At the same time, you're also seeing gold demand continue to grow very strongly in the new economies in Asia, so particularly in India and China. As those countries become wealthier, as more of their populations move into urban centers, the middle class increases in those countries. They are purchasing more gold as both jewelry and investment. And as a result, those countries today now represent over 50% of gold demand on a global basis. So you're also seeing gold discovered in Asia as a store of value and a way of accumulating wealth.